Hi there, this is Tammy with Tammy Stamping Therapy. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little coffee cup gifts. Um, this is something that you could put a gift card in. I've put gift cards in the back. There's enough room there. You could put money in the cups. Um, there's several different ways you could use this as a gift. I sell these at Holiday Bazaars and I put Hershey's Kisses in them. So this is the one that I have already made. It's using the Twall Tidings Designer Series paper out of Stampin' Up's current holiday catalog, as well as the Still Scenes stamp set and the dies that go with it that have, for the snow globes, these two little bears. I love these, the little figures that are in that die set. This is made using a four ounce coffee cup. I get these from Russ, I think it's called webrestaurant.com, something like that. I'll look it up and put it in the description below. You buy all the pieces separate, so you buy the little cups, you buy the little lids, and then you buy the straws. The straws are seven and a half inches long, and I cut them in half so that I can use one straw for both of these cups. So let me show you how we get started with this. Um, the first thing that I did was I made a template for putting the paper on the cups. Um, I made the template by opening up a cup and then drawing it onto a piece of paper. And then from there, I put it on a piece of card stock. And I, this is heavyweight card stock, and I've used this template for a long time. I'm using the Brightly Gleaming Designer Series paper. I've already drawn it on and cut it out of these two pieces of paper, and I'm gonna add them to the cups. Whenever you're wrapping designer paper around something or even cardstock, it's always good to um, get it started with curling first so it won't pop off at a later point in time. So to curl it, I use my bone folder and just Gently curl it. I don't want to rip the paper, which can very easily be done. So just very gently curl it. I have added tear and tape to both ends of the back side of this. And I'm going to now add this to the cups. So I kind of, I want the seam to be where the seam is already on the back of the cup. Snug it up against the edge, the lip of the cup, and attach one side down, and then I'm wrapping it around, all the way around the cup, and attaching it on the other side also. I'll use my fingers to kind of burnish that so that it'll stay down. And then I'll do the other cup. First time I saw these, I was, I just thought they were the cutest thing I'd ever seen. I love things that are little and cute, and so I had to make them. This is probably my best seller at craft fairs. I make a single and a double. So both of these cups now have the paper wrapped around them. And then I'll add the lid. each one I don't have any candy right now to put in these but I can do that later this lid looks like it's seen better days so I'll probably replace it before I put this out for sale at my holiday bazaar so there's my two cups and I'll show you how to make the holder. So I start with a piece of cardstock. This cardstock is pretty peacock to match the paper that I'm using. Um, it is eight inches by five and a quarter inches, and I've scored it at one and a half inches on all four sides. Now I'm going to cut my tabs. 
I uh, almost always do these kind of tabs on the end. I feel like it makes the box really strong when you do it this way. I have cut and scored this with Stampin' Up's brand new paper trimmer that I just love. It just became available for demonstrators on October 1st. And it's available for customers beginning November 1st. So um, you'll have to let me know if you're interested in one. I had issues with the previous Stampin' Up! paper cutter. I guess it had issues with me. I had a couple of different ones and I never could get them to cut right. And this one, I love the way it's made and it cuts everything very nicely. So I have taken care of cutting my tabs on here. Now I'm going to fold and burnish on all my score lines. And then I'm going to add my designer paper. I'm using uh, Stampin' Up's Mono Liquid Glue. And I have paper that measures four and three quarter by one and a quarter to go on the sides. And then I have paper that measures one and a quarter by two inches to go on the ends. When you're using this kind of glue, less is more. If you put too much on here, you have a big stinking mess. So I try to use as little as possible. This glue, well, all liquid glue, actually binds paper together or bonds it together. So it doesn't take very much for it to hold nicely when it's cardstock and paper. Um, if you're gluing other things together, it can be a little more tricky. But with cardstock and paper, it's really simple. I love this brightly gleaming designer series paper with the copper accents. I feel like it's just very pretty and elegant looking. So there is the designer paper on all my sides and now I'm going to put my box together. Again, we don't need a ton and this glue, you don't want it to gush out because it does dry tacky. So if it's sticking out anywhere, It's kind of messy. So that's that end. This end I'm going to put the glue on both sides at the same time just because it's easier to put the box together this way. And I'll fold those down and fold this up and then attach them together. So there's my little box that will hold my two coffee cups. And to put a handle on a box, I've done this a couple of different ways. I have put a divider in the middle like you can see when you get at Starbucks. Um, but I like the way it looks with this handle where it goes across the top and when you pick it up it's perfectly balanced. So the handle is 11 inches by one half inch and I want it to curl. So again, I'm going to curl it with my bone folder. I'm going to put glue on about a half inch of the end and center it down here. I'm going to use one of these cute little clips and put this clip on there so it'll hold it until it dries. It doesn't take very long for the glue to set up, but when you're trying to do both ends at the same time, it's easier to clip it because otherwise it slides all over the place. Another little clip. So there's my little box ready for my coffee cups. To decorate the front, I have I've punched two ornaments out with the ornaments that match this uh, suite. This one is out of ornament paper, which matches one of my cups. This is using copper foil paper. And then I have embossed it with what I think is called the shattered embossing folder. Not positive, but I will put the name in the description below. 
I'm going to add these guys to the front using Stampin' Dimensionals. Put a couple on this one. And probably just one in the middle of this one. This that sticks down a little far, so I'm going to trim it off so it's flat on the bottom. I don't want it to get bent, which could very easily happen just by setting it down. Put this like this, and then I have uh, stamped Seasons Greetings out of the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set. And I've punched it with the classic label punch. I stamped it in the pretty peacock ink. And I'm going to add this to my little box also. I think I'll put it just like that. So there's the front of my box. And then on my coffee cups, I have punched the designer paper using the one and three eighths inch scallop circle punch. And I'm gonna put a little glue on it and attach it to the lid. I'll cut this in half, stick this in there, and I'm, I'm going to change this lid out so I'm not going to put this on top yet. I want to put a new lid on there, but I can go ahead and stick this inside there. And then the last thing I would normally do, but I totally forgot is I'll put a bow on top. See how I've done with this one? Or sometimes I'll put a bow somewhere on the front. I haven't decided yet what I want to use to put my bow on top of this. So I'm not doing it yet. I'm going to do that later. I'll show you one that I did. I haven't decorated this one yet, but this is one of the singles that I make. So this little holder holds one coffee cup. It's made kind of the same way, except that I put a scallop circle in the middle so the cup will actually stay down inside there. And you can uh, stick a gift card in the back of this, and this makes a cute little gift. You can also um, put some kind of sentiment on the front and fill the cups and sell them just by themselves. People uh, will buy them that way also. It's kind of funny. You have something that's that's miniature and if you decorate it and craft it up a bit, people are going to buy it because they're like me. They like things that are little and cute. So here is my original one that I did with the real red and garden green and then the red glimmer paper with the little bears. And this one is with the brightly gleaming designer series paper and the, the ornaments that match it. So I hope you like this. Let me know if you like it. I also would like to know what other kind of videos you'd like to see. Um, I hadn't intended to do this video, but a friend of mine asked for it because she saw the one that I showed from my uh, swap with our team, where that was one of the things that somebody brought. So I'm always looking for ideas for things you want to see in videos. I can do videos of all my cards. My passion is really for the 3D stuff. So um, that's what I'm usually looking for. So let me know if there's something you would like to see. And I hope you like this project. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.